Hi and welcome. My name's David and I'm here at Eden Hall, the official residence of the British High Commissioner to Singapore. I'm hoping we can go and meet Her Excellency Cara Owen and she can go and take us around this fabulous building. Come on, let's go and have a look. Hello. Hi David. Nice to see you. Welcome back to Eden Hall. Thank you so much for having me. Now you're opening up your residence uh, in honour of His Majesty King Charles III's coronation. Um, would you be happy to show me and everybody else around um, the residence today? This house is one of the most precious houses in the whole of the British diplomatic network. And it's called Eden Hall. We've done a bit of archival research so that we can discover why it's called Eden Hall. And we believe that the Manasseh family, who originally built the house in 1904, named it after Eden Hall, which was a stately home in the north of England, actually in Cumbria. But one of the things that Eden Hall is famous for is having been the Musgrove family, having been the owners of this amazing glass artifact from from Middle Ages Syria, uh, we think. It's now in the Victorian Albert Museum and you can see there's a beautiful picture of it here. It got immortalised in poem and song and there is a famous line in a poem, should the glass break and fall, beware the luck of Eden Hall. So this is called the luck of Eden Hall. The art collection itself has two themes really. Number one is glass and you'll see that as you go around. And the other one is journeys. This glass must have journeyed from the Middle East through Italy. We know it went to France where it got a case made and it ended up in the north of England. Well, how else do you use this room when you have guests coming in? When we have uh, dinners and things, this is where people will often sign our visitors book, which you imagine over the years, the kind of people that we've had signing the visitors book. But I'm really proud of this piece, which is by Kim Lim, who is a Singaporean artist. It's called Waterpiece. This is part of the permanent collection in Eden Hall. I am so pleased with it that I wanted it right at the heart of the home. And one of the first things that people see. Oh, it's beautiful. Should we go through to the drawing room? Sure. So I love this room. And you know what I was saying before about fabrics being inspired by the luck of Eden Hall. You can see these are brilliant Colfax and Porter textiles all the way through. It's all British design, beautiful quantum light. But I would love to show you this one piece of art that really connects into Singapore's history, if you'd like yeah, to hear about please. that. Um, it's this piece here. This is by Leslie Cole who was a British Army war artist who was with the 14th Army in Burma. After the war, he came on and spent some time uh, here in Singapore during the British military administration period. And when I first arrived, I was thinking, gosh, I wonder where, where is that painted from? I don't know, can you guess, David? Oh, Fort Canning. Uh, lots of people said that, but no, uh, the building in the foreground is the Cathay building and this is at the end of Orchard Road, that's the Rendezvous Hotel and you can see right the way down to what w was Beach Road on the beach. Um, is that Gimes in the middle? Exactly, okay. yeah. Um, but I think it really, it really sort of connects the house to a particular period of Singapore history. Brilliant. Should we go through to the dining room? Sure. This is a lovely room, you must have hosted some amazing guests in here. Yes, yes, and over the years, uh, including Her Late Majesty the Queen has eaten here. So we have a beautiful dining table that can seat um, 24 at its stretch. And also we use it for all kinds of receptions and uh, seminars and other events. And we've uh, made a lot of effort to make sure that we diversify the art. One of the themes of the art collection is glass, as I mentioned to you. This is really interesting. It's by a Manchester artist. And actually he designed the vessel on computer and then painted it. So I think it's a really typical of British art to be so innovative. Wow, and is there a real piece? There is no real piece that came out of his imagination. It exists on computer, but for all the world, it looks like it's a painting of a piece of art. Oh, amazing. Nice to have a bit of Manchester here as well. <laughs> and what else have we got around the, uh, around the, around the room? Anna Barrabal, this is called Window. Uh, I really, really love it. Fabulous. And this piece here? That's actually by a Taiwanese artist and that was gifted to us by a wonderful family um, who uh, have also given a significant donation to Oxford for pandemic research. Oh, amazing. Mm. Craig Yacheson uh, is another wonderful young British artist. And again, you'll see the vase echoing the look of Eden Hall. And this is a wonderful mirror. We are very lucky to have wonderful Piranha Can furnishings that the Char family have loaned 
us very kindly let us keep it in pride of place. Um, again, connecting, connecting the house into the roots and into the wonderful Peranakan culture that we have. So I'm terribly grateful to them for letting us keep it here. It's quite a statement piece. It's a really it's statement really piece, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Fabulous. Since this became the home of the British High Commissioners in 1965, we'll have had a visitor's book that go back all those decades, signed by an amazing collection of people that have come through this house at various times. Where do you keep them, all the old ones? Well, they get archived, they get archived, yeah. Uh, so they're, you know, part of the national record, really. Um, but I wanted to mention to you this piece, which is actually print of a painting, and it's by somebody called Tacita Dean, um, and it's called Foreign Policy. And anything else on here that you'd... Oh, well, some of these are memories of um, when I presented my letter of credentials from Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth to President Halima, the President of Singapore. And it's at that moment that you truly become the High Commissioner with all of the powers where you are taken to fully represent uh, the UK government in your posting here. It's a really special moment. Yeah. It's not something I might have imagined doing at the start of my career. Fabulous. Come upstairs. As we go up the stairs, David, um, just have a look at the spindles. You can see an M that is worked into the design of the oh, spindles, yeah. which connects to the original family who built the house, the Manasseh. So this, David, is what the family called the ballroom because they loved dancing. Um, and that we, since it's been the residents, uh, still call it the ballroom. Uh, there's, we have fewer balls, but we have meetings up here. It's a great place to do a seminar. Um, we've also done TV interviews that you'll have seen from this uh, room. And some people have even been known to play the piano, including yourself. Um, some of the art in here is also gorgeous. This is a Jack Milroy piece. Uh, really striking, again, um, the vessel that is the theme of the art, art collection. Uh, we have a cell with a beautiful Terry Frost over there. This one is very striking. Uh, lots of people, as soon as they come up the stairs, get struck by this. It's one of my favourites and it's by Ian Davenport. It's called Lines. Lovely picture. Just come and have a look at how it feels that this is a house kind of within nature. It's incredibly green up here, something I love about Singapore. We've got more artwork here by British female artists, um, Anna Barrabal, Corinne Swan and Cornelia Parker. And if you come to the windows, there's one thing, I don't know if you know about this, um, but you see the flagpole? Yeah. Um, when the house was sold to us um, in uh, 1957, it was made a condition that uh, we fly the flagpole and at the bottom there's a plaque and it said, may the Union Jack fly forever, which is something that Vivian Bath, Ezekiel Manasseh's stepson, um, said that we should do when he sold the house to us. Fabulous. I'm going to bring you into the garden room next, David, and you'll notice the tiles on the floor are the original tiles from 1904, um, which again connects us. Imagine the people that have strode on these tiles. The art in here is really, really lovely. This is one of my favourite pieces. It's called Venice Evening um, by Howard Hodgkins. Uh, and again, you could imagine the luck of Eden Hall coming through the Middle East, through Venice, and then ending up in the north of England. But I really love it. It's very striking. And who's this on the side here? This is my maternal grandfather. who had the amazing name Athanasius Chapel Pearson. Uh, he was a painter and decorator um, who spent some time at Campbell College of Art, which you might know grew out of the um, South London Working Men's College. Uh, and actually the point of it was to elevate the standard of tradespeople's craftsmanship. And he spent a year there. Um, and he was also the lovely grandfather that made me this brilliant gramophone. <laughs> Yeah, he, when he was retiring his turntable and his amp from the 1960s, he constructed this piece of furniture and he gave it to his granddaughters and I'm lucky enough uh, to have it. But it's a real draw. People love rifling through the record collection, reminding themselves of records they may have had. And this piece of art I absolutely love. It's a print by Hervin Anderson. But this is apparently a vase that his mother brought uh, with her when she immigrated into uh, Britain from Jamaica. And that story of migration, immigration, I think, and 
diversity and the strength that countries get from having really diverse cultures absolutely absorbed and um, forming a really strong part of the country they become, I think that really connects into Singapore. Fabulous. I really like it. And, and there's a, a big Singapore-UK connection over here, isn't there, as well? Yes. Should we do the royal visits? When people come to the house, uh, David, they're always drawn to this because you can see, and it's only, you know, we're still inside a year of when we lost Her Majesty the Queen. Um, but she came here three times on state visits. And here on this wall, uh, we have memories of those state visits to Singapore and also of the state visit uh, by President Tony Tan uh, to the UK. I think um, all of those memories are really held preciously uh, by UK and Singapore people. So you can see this is 1972, which was her first uh, visit. And you can see that she's meeting Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Uh, and here in 1989, she sat next to uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew at a dinner uh, up at the Astana. This is 2006 when she was inspecting uh, the Guard of Honour. And you can see here, this is in Buckingham Palace during the uh, state banquet uh, that um, Her Late Majesty and the late Duke of Edinburgh uh, gave in the honour of President Tony Tan. Fabulous. Really does show the deep and broad relationship between the UK and Singapore. Wow. Thank you so much for having me and, and us and taking us around uh, the beautiful Eden Hall. Well, David, it's been a complete pleasure and a privilege. We absolutely love this house and we hope everyone else will do too. So thank you so much for thank coming. You.